you. What up? And um, so uh, we got meet Carl Pilkington too. Okay. Okay. Me call Book of Two. Yes, I feel like we know Carl. Like we know Carl. Yeah. So yeah. We've been on <laughs> like twenty trips with Carl around the world. Exactly. exactly. So we know it's, Carl. It's it's been quite an adventure, you know. Uh he's uh he's an oddity, you know. He's a spectacular mind in a way. He's creative yeah. thinking, you know. Yeah, very unique mind. Yeah. Uh but uh but you know, good dude overall, you know. Oh yeah. So I guess let's meet Carl. Yeah, well, hopefully, you know, might learn some new things about Carl. Great. Let's go. Hello, and um, welcome to this DVD extra. I suppose it should be called Meet Carl Pilkington <coughs> 2. <laughs> we did a little <laughs> bonus feature for my politics DVD, um, where, we, where we talked about um, politics, obviously, and that sort of introduced you to the world. That, that was put on um, YouTube, and it's had, like, a million hits so I think you know it's time we did that again but um, around science a, a, a subject that if possible you know less about than you did about politics in a way <laughs> hmm. yeah. I don't know if that's right I reckon I do know more about <clears throat> science what is science? Uh, it's in everything isn't it you can't avoid science okay. it's interesting because people who believe in God say that about God He's in everything. No, no, but this is this is like proper. This is, you know, if people want to believe in God, that's all right. But science is, without science, you wouldn't have any of this. Well, it's almost the antithesis, isn't it? That if you believe in the magic of, you know, God and all his impossibilities and the illogical, and, uh, you know, that's science looks at hard empirical facts. See, all that went right off my head. I'm into <laughs> science. I'm into the weird science. Um, you know, I like the fun of it. There's a lot of fun in science. <laughs> fun in science. Let's start at the beginning. The Big Bang. The Big Bang. Okay. Here, what, what do you think of this? An atom, right, is mostly nothing. One analogy is it's like a fist in the Albert Hall. So an atom, the size of the Albert Hall, the matter part of it, okay, the nucleus would be a fist. The rest is space, okay? That's one thing. With a fly buzzing around it as the electron, which is to yeah, charge. Now, <coughs> when we look at it on that scale, it's easy to understand that all matter that exists, everything in this universe, was once in the space many, many times smaller than an atom. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. That doesn't, no one, most people watching this are going, I don't get that, my head hurts. What else is on? <laughs> Everything in the universe could be crammed into the, the tiniest thing imaginable. And that was sitting there in the beginning of time, right? 15 billion years ago. Right? And then it expanded into a universe in a few minutes. What was the minutes then? No. Nah. So we don't know then. <laughs> we don't know how long it took. Not that it matters, I'm not bothered. It's here now. And that's what I'm saying to you. It's all amazing yeah. that. The Big Bang thing. I've said to you, was it a Big Bang? Or was it just because there was nothing else there to drown out the noise? At the end of the day, it's that whole thing, isn't it? The noise. Was there even a noise if no one's there to hear it? <laughs> Don't be worrying about all that stuff. Leave it to Stephen Hawking to do it. Of course he can sit there and think about it. He's got nothing else to do. <laughs> Let him get online. Oh, th it's great to think. I like thinking, but my world's too busy. I've always got to be doing other things. He's sat there just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be the same if I was in his shoes. Exactly the same. Thinking, but he's... He's, he's done that much thinking, he's thinking about things now he doesn't need to think about. Pack it in, Steve. Have a rest. Yeah. <laughs> Play Pac Man. Uh, do, do whatever, just do something else. Stop worrying about the Big Bang. <laughs> he's wasting his life thinking about something that doesn't matter. We don't need to know the answer. 
He's wasting his life thinking about something that doesn't matter. Good. It doesn't matter, does it? In your life of things that matter, where would you put the Big Bang? No, but then... Okay. Then we're, not <laughs> here, well, we're not here for long But then enough. nothing matters then, does it? So it really we, does, yeah. What, what does? Matter. What matters? Well, keeping people happy. Okay. You know, uh, looking after people. So, so keeping them happy could be giving them life-saving drugs or feeding a, um, a starving world or letting someone become mobile that was otherwise yeah. immobile. And that's, that's fine. But you're talking about space. When did it start? Where does it end? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. You know, it goes on and on and on and on. We know that. Atoms, they're not getting in the way. Stop worrying about them. <laughs> I'm about some scientists trying to smash one up. What for? <laughs> they're not in the way. If they were big and I kept bumping into them, I'd smash them up. <laughs> Break them down. Gravel. Make gravel out of them. <laughs> I'm so tiny, they're only gravel. No, what, what I'm saying is, it's not an issue. Right. Know, there's loads of problems in the world. There is loads of problems. You may mention them all, the starvation, all that, and someone's faffing about with an atom. Uh, yeah. That isn't going to sort anything out. Uh, <laughs> the space race, okay. Some people <laughs> say mathematics is the tool of science. You need maths to do anything in science. Yeah, of precision. I believe, that, I believe that. You do. I like doing DIY. I told you there's a lot of maths involved. Accuracy. Right. That's fine. Okay. Just taking it slightly even more accurate than than DIY. Um, <laughs> micro surgery. Um, putting a man on the moon. The figures had to be pointless. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Again, you see, <laughs> if we didn't have the numbers, that wouldn't have happened. But all we've done is create something else we didn't need because of something else we've got. We didn't have to put man on the moon. What was he doing? What did he do? <coughs> Nothing. Has he been back? No, he hasn't. He didn't enjoy it. <laughs> no one, no one else has gone up there. The only reason, the thing that I've thought of recently when I thought that would be good to go into space again is to get rid of rubbish. <coughs> That's what I'd do. They're always going on about landfill and everything. It's not good. We can't get rid of all this. Shoot it up there. <laughs> Expanding, there's loads of space. <clears throat> Stick all the shit up there. <laughs> Don't be sending a man up. I, I, I heard that one of them astronauts knocking a golf ball about on the moon. Leave your golf clubs at home and take some shit up with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you know how much fuel is needed to get a kilogram of something up out of the Earth's atmosphere and oh, into space? Me. He had a golf club with him. A I golf know. ball. Okay, but how much, how much rubbish do you think we can really get rid of? As much as you want. But how much fuel does it take? I mean, it's a matter of economics as well. Think of the fuel that would, the fuel that would take a bin bag full up into space would far outweigh that bin bag being on Earth. Well, they keep going into space now. They're not going to the moon. They knock around space messing with satellites. Right. Less astronauts, a couple of bin bags. <laughs> Chuck some shit up there. And what's good with it is it won't break up. It'll just keep circling. And up there, then, <coughs> space isn't space anymore. It'll be like a museum because there'll be old stuff from years ago. At the moment, <laughs> we, we don't save them, do we? It's all about recycling. Mm. Everything's destroyed. There's no evidence of the past. Mm. Go into space, it'll be like antiques roadshow of shit from the years gone by. <laughs> right. I'd like to see this episode. That's mental, Carl. It's not mental. It is mental. How would you get the rubbish up there? In the rocket. Yeah, but you don't know anything. Uh, Do you know how much on. fuel it takes to burn? they're going up anyway. I'm just saying, at least if they're going up there, do something. <laughs> do something different. <coughs> There's space. There's nothing in space. Well, let's put something there. That's what we do as humans. We don't like mm -hmm. plain space. So God didn't believe it earlier. We fill it. That's oh, what we do. No. Hmm. So just chuck some shit into space. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if you're up there, get rid of a few bin bags. Brilliant. That's space. There's nothing... <laughs> Don't you understand what I'm saying? There's nothing... Yeah, but it's mental. It's, 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 everything's wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a ter once again, a terrible, flawed theory. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't care. <laughs> oh, time travel. Uh, time machines. They're a funny... That's science. Well, we're sort of going into the future, aren't we, all the time, well, by every definition. Day, every day we are, yeah. Exactly, yeah. But I'm talking about people want to do big leaps, don't they? 
Yeah. I met a scientist once, you know, um, that old fellow we met, proper scientist. He said he'd love to get in a time machine. Patrick Moore? No, um, Wolf. Heinz Wolf. All right. I met him, he said, I'd love a time machine. Where would he go, back or? Yeah, back. Forward? He said he wanted to go back, because he asked me, he said, where do you want to go? And I said, oh, uh, I think I picked a holiday that I had. So you went back five or six years? Because <laughs> I knew exactly what I'd be going back to. He enjoyed that week. I'd be going back, uh... I wouldn't have to pay for that holiday, I'd always pay for it. It's not like I'm turning up and someone's going, get out, you shouldn't be here. I was oh, there. Shit. So you're going back because you reckon you'll save 400 quid? <laughs> it was a bargain. A New Yorker, a villa, swimming pool, three bedrooms. That's what you'd use a time machine for? I'm just saying, why do people always have to jump so far? So hold on then, let me get this straight. <coughs> Are you going back and it's you now and you've had that five years and you're loving it, oh, I remember doing this, or are you going back and just reliving it like a memory and no one knows the difference and nor do you? It's like you just do it and then you have to... <coughs> no, no, I, everybody there doesn't know I've gone back in time. Right. So you've come me. from the future then? Yeah, but they don't know that. No, I know, but you're in your body then, you look like you did then, but actually, it's Carl five years on. Yeah, but I'm having the same holiday, and I'm going to enjoy it more. So you're not coming back with going like, oh, Rita, go and get that checked out? No. And, no? Just have a holiday. <laughs> but the weird thing is, this professor bloke, he wanted to go back, he said he wanted to go back when, like, cavemen were knocking about, to see how the, sort of, mooched about and how they survived. <laughs> See, that to me is more interesting than going back on a holiday I've already had. I'll be honest. You wouldn't go back to being a caveman. <laughs> You'd eat it. You'd be going, oh, God, send me back. And they go, no, no. You've got to stay here for a bit. It's an expensive like machine. 10,000 years. Yeah. I don't understand that. I wouldn't want to go forward either. So when you went back, so, what, so suppose you went back to caveman times, right? You, you are you, right? You'd fit in fine. I'd be brilliant. Yeah. I'd be the king. <laughs> Maybe. No, I would. Right, what would you do then? No, How would you... Like you said, they come, about... they go, they go, they go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Slightly different, isn't it? No, it's not. It's exactly the same. We haven't changed bodily. I've got a pair of pants on. <laughs> right. So you go back naked, so you'd fit in. Uh, no. Well, because I'd look all pale and. No, no, no. You wouldn't go back naked. They go. They would take your pants off. The first thing they'd do if you went there with pants, they would rip your pants off. No, they wouldn't. They would. They you wouldn't. can't go back with pants on. You've got to go back <laughs> naked. It's summer. They're walking around naked. Why would you go with pants on? Before you get in the time machine, you'd have to take your pants off. <laughs> no, because I want to come across like I'm something from the future. Okay. So I walk in. They're going, oh. What are they doing? What do they say? They just can't believe it. They're going, what's going on? What do you say? I say, I'm just visiting. What are you wearing then? What are you wearing? Jean, this. I've gone like this. <laughs> okay. They would definitely want to see. No, they wouldn't. They would, <laughs> wouldn't they? Because they're sick of seeing it. To them, it's like being on a nudist beach. They're no longer looking at cock and <laughs> no, bollocks yeah, and yeah, tits and arse. They're seeing it every day. To them, yeah. it isn't weird. To me, I'll probably be looking at them. They put some pants on. I don't understand why they couldn't do that, really. They I think they did the uh, wheel before the pants. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, I think they did. I think they did. I think they did. <laughs> you could go back five days. <laughs> no, five years. You could yeah. go back Biology. five years. The life sciences. Isn't it amazing that we're here? That anything is here? That we're having a chat now in front of these cameras for a DVD extra? And... Mm. We started off as a single cell blob, a little thing that had the right temperature in the right compound, the right minerals, ultraviolet, that little thing <laughs> happened. This little nucleus, it was just a, just a cell, okay? But I don't like thinking about that. And then it divided, then it yeah. got a skin and then... Yeah, I don't want to know. Yeah, when people get in touch from Friends Reunited, they go, that was 20 years ago, I don't want to know. Right. So I certainly don't want to know about 30 million years ago. <laughs> okay. I want my little time zone that I'm right. born, I live, and I die in. Okay. That's all I can worry about. It doesn't fascinate know. you at all. It doesn't fascinate it you at amazing, all. It's amazing, but it hurts your head, doesn't it? I don't the, the, like the, it. I don't the, like by it. chance, something happened, uh, a genetic mutation, and that, and that, 
and then that was chosen by nature. It worked. It survived. Okay. But certain things work, and they're not that impressive, like slugs. You always <laughs> say, "Well, it's evolved. It hasn't evolved." Okay. We share about seventy percent of our genetic material with a slug. Seventy <laughs> percent. Well, what what seventy percent has that got that I've got? It's got seventy percent. <laughs> I've coughed up stuff that looks like a slug. If that's a seventy percent you're talking about, <coughs> nothing else, nothing in a slug. There is. <laughs> you share you share DNA with an onion. I've heard that. That's the roundness of the head, probably. I'm telling you, <laughs> the slug has about seventy percent of the same genetic material as the human species. Yeah. We're that close. We're that close. <laughs> all the hard work, all the hard work was done then, in terms of like getting it right. A slug got it right. A slug is as evolved as us. It's perfect. It's not perfect. Why? Okay. Definitely not perfect. Why? Why isn't it perfect? It's just not great. I've, I've, I've had to deal with slugs a lot when they were like blocking up my shower. Right. There's a gang of them in the tube. How can they be uh, as evolved as me? What are they doing? Up there. Just all mush. Mushified. <laughs> <laughs> Right, talk me through it. What happened? Just was on the shower and the that shower basin it. filled up. And right. What's going on here? Yeah. So I got a plunger. Right. So sort of bits of black stuff. Uh. What is this? I had to t unscrew the, the the plug hole bit. Couldn't quite get down there. Yeah. To take the tiles off the side of the shower thing. Right. Got in there, unscrewed it all. Got the pipe. Just slugs all in there. <clears throat> all sat in there, blocking it up. <laughs> Don't know how they got in there, but that's what I'm saying to you. They don't know what they're doing. What they're doing, knocking about in there. <coughs> Get out! <laughs> now, what are they doing? I don't know to this day what they do. I watch insects. They, you know, I like insects. They but, survive. Mm. That's what they do. They're chosen yeah, but by they nature. No, there's, there's another one. There's loads of insects knocking out the house. There's a spider in the outside shed. It's not an insect, nor is a slug. A slug is a mollusk. A spider is an arachnid. <laughs> All right. Okay. Spiders in the yeah. cupboard outside. Right. I'm not joking. It's been there now for about two years. Right. Could be three. Okay. Same one. It's quite big. Right. Just sits there in the corner. Right. I go in. I smash its web up. Why? Because I don't <laughs> want it there. Right. Fine. I don't want to kill a spider. Right. But I'm sort of saying I'm wrecking your house. If you move, there's no problem. Move. I go back. It's built its web again. Just right. sat there like that. <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> What is the point? <laughs> well, it's not doing nothing, is it? Oh, well, it's building its house. Every it's time hunting. I wreck it. It's hunting. It's not even doing that. Well, it is. That's what it. Ha that's how it does it. It's made. A, it's made a web, and things fly into it. Then it wraps them up. Yep. Sucks the juice out. Right. Well, for what? To then sit in this shed. <laughs> what are you doing? Existence? Why are you... didn't it go? But you're eating. You're staying in your flat. You want to go back to Mallorca five years ago. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, well, it depends. I've been. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen in another billion years? <laughs> You'll be the slug. The human race could be the slugs. There could be this amazing being that that, that evolved from us. Going, what are they doing? People go, well, you know, seventy percent of their genetic material. <laughs> you don't know it's going to go. You stood on the shoulder of giants. You stood on a few slugs. You told me in your flat, but. <clears throat> We share our ancestry with those slugs. We are related to slugs. I have never watched Who Do You Think You Are? And they've gone, they've gone to your family tree. Do you know uh, Terry the Slug? He's a great <laughs> uncle of yours. We don't need to know where we've come from. And nobody would want to hear that either on that programme. You would not want to hear that. <laughs> yeah, but you're... It's nothing to do <sighs> with us. Oh. It's happened, it's all, all an accident. But it's a matter of degrees. Your brother, right, okay, very close to you. Your cousin. I haven't seen him for about 12 years. <laughs> yeah. Genetically speaking, couldn't get closer, okay? It's the closest you can be, 
a brother, a son, a mother, to accept, and let, you know, accept a clone, an identical twin, okay? So, cousin, a bit less, go cousin, da -da -da. bloke around the world, da -da -da. chimp, <coughs> marmot, mouse. <laughs> what? Bird. I don't know what you're doing now, you're just saying words at me. <laughs> What's a marmot? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, but you're related to him. <laughs> what is it? You're related to He's him. He's in a mammoth. <laughs> I don't know that animal either. Logic. With all our evolution, now we can sit around doing Sudoku and inflaming our mind and inventing art and stuff. Um, so I want to I wanna use to use, you know, scientific method. Let's use a bit of logic, okay? I'll give you a couple of conundrums because I want to see how, how you've evolved, okay? Um, there's two children sitting on a bench. Yeah. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. There's a boy and a girl. Okay? They're the, they're the kids on the bench. Yeah. There's a boy and a girl sat on a bench. Yeah. The blonde-haired child yeah. says... I'm a girl. Right. The brown haired child says, I'm a boy. At least one of the children are lying. Which one's the boy and which one's the girl? Wait, what? The blonde hair says, it's yeah. a girl. Well, what else can well, I see there? Could be it. Can you tell by the way they look or am I blind? No, you, no, you can't see. I'm blind. Yeah, you can't see. <laughs> I'm just, I'm telling you. The brown the information you need. Boy. And they actually sound, I can tell by voice. No, 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 you can't. No, 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 no. You can't. I'm telling the you. The boy's okay. like. So hang on. Say two say children sitting on the bench. Right? You've come to me. I haven't seen these. No, no. I have not heard them. You've come no. to me and yeah. said, I've just been in the park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe a boy. Say again. I've just been in the park. Yeah. And I've seen yeah. a lad and a girl. One had brown hair, one had blonde hair. Yeah. The, the, the blonde haired child said, I'm a girl. Yeah. The brown-haired child said, I'm a boy. At least one of them is lying. Which one's the girl and which one's the boy? At least one of them is lying. They can both be lying. Yeah. yeah. Well, think. So what, they're both lying. Why don't you want to? I don't, I don't want know. To. I don't get it. It's a very easy one. <laughs> it's an easy one? through the scenarios in your head. <laughs> I'm a girl. Who said that? The brown-haired one. <laughs> No, the blonde-haired one said I'm a girl. One of them is lying? Yeah, at least one of them is lying. Hmm. Glad. So just the, just the boy is lying? Both of them are lying. Oh, both of them are <laughs> lying, haven't they? Why? Because there's a boy and a girl, right? One of them saying they're a girl, one saying they're a boy. Yeah, so if one of them's lying... But they're both lying. They have to be both lying. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> so the blonde-haired kid's a boy. Right. See? But what, 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 okay, what, what are you doing <laughs> that makes sense. Because it trains the mind to think logically, to think through it. Yeah, okay. That's, that's imposing a scientific method. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> the car we knew. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Kind of impatient, you know what I mean? Yeah. But definitely uh, doesn't take any nonsense, you know what I mean? No. No, 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 no. I have a lot of out there theories. Now, yeah. the trash in the space, I would agree with him. Mm. If he wasn't talking about just keeping it in orbit <laughs> mm. and using it as like a museum, <laughs> we can go up there and see our past, our past trash. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, chunk yeah. it in deep space. <laughs> Throw all the trash in deep space. But it, like Ricky said, it costs a lot. Yeah. The fuel and shit. <laughs> this is, we just go up there and see our past. <laughs> and definition of science. <laughs> Science, yeah. Oh man, yeah, man, yeah, man. So, Carl's, I guess you know, religion and all that type of stuff. You just said, don't worry about it. You know, 
the Adams, people coming from Adams or wherever from Adam or Eve, you know. So what's the point? Yeah. That's what he said. He said, "What's the point?" I want to in the past. I Don't do want to know. There's questions I want to know that I probably never know the answer to. But you know, I'm glad there's scientists out there working to find out the answers. <laughs> You know, Big Bang, that is kind of like, you know, unbelievable. It all started from a, you know what I'm saying? From an atom, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's crazy. Or evolution. Evolution, yeah. We're related. We're 70%. We have 70% in common genetically with the slug. The slug. <laughs> hmm. That's crazy. I think it's like 99% in common with like a, a monkey or something. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Wonder what the truth really is. <laughs>